Hey guys, this is Patrick Jensen here, and welcome to speed painting number eight. We are going to get started right away because we only have 30 minutes, and uh, let's do this. Okay. So today's topic is we're going to try to paint up a knight in a cavern, pulling a sword out of a stone while walking on water. And we're going to see if we can make this as magical as possible, as if um, he's the only guy who is able to walk on water to go get this thing. And we'll just add the little story element that no boats can float in this cavern. <laughs> so everyone who's tried to go get this uh, sword has failed. Poor guys. It's a little inspired by Harry Potter. Um, I sure love those books. But the difference here is he doesn't have to drink any potion. Um, he just has to uh, walk on water. Just, you know, just, just walk on water. <laughs> All right, so we got this going and maybe we'll go ahead and start blocking in some of these rocks. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm picking the values over there, um, it's, you know, I'm not too concerned with what color I'm getting right away, because I know I can change that if I need to. Um, but, for example, if you pick these arrows are right next to each other, you're going to get gray, right? and full on white is all the way to the right, black's all the way to the left. Now, if you drag out these arrows spaced farther apart, you'll get a more saturated color of orange. If you wanna gray and desaturate your that color, you would just drag these arrows closer to each other to get a desaturated version of that guy, right? Also, if you take that color and you wanna add more warmth, you can add a little red and green to get a warmer, hotter version of the color below it or cool it down by lessening the red, maybe up in the blue to get a cooler version. So this is kind of how I use this guy to pick colors. And yeah, as I mentioned, as I'm going, I'm not really thinking too much about it. Um, like this color right here, I, you know, I'm happy with it right now because of the value mainly, because um, that can change, so. We're gonna get a little fuzzy. A little fuzzy, noisy brush. Oh, come on. Sometimes selecting brushes, it lags a little bit, so I apologize for that. Okay, we gotta get... Actually, let's do a new layer. Um, remember I have a shortcut to do a new layer? I set it to F4. Um, comes in handy. And let's... Uh, Something like that. All right. Cool. And we're going to go ahead and try to make this feel uh, illuminated from the bottom. Okay. Something like that. Actually, we'll just go ahead and really have fun with that. All right, so we've got a little glowing pool now. Let's go ahead and flatten that brush. And... Go ahead and carve out some of these rocks. We'll put another one there later. Oops, too big on the smudge. All right, there we go. Okay, 
What about this rock? Might be in the way of him. We gotta get we gotta get him blocked down. Let's see. Um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and just use this brush and not worry about it. Up the hardness a little bit. So we get something like that. Okay, we're on a new layer. To check if I have a new layer that's nothing on it, I control click that thumbnail. No pixels were selected, meaning it's a blank layer. All right, let's see. Actually, let's just turn this rock into him. Okay, maybe he's... Swords here. Hmm. If this looks terrible, it does. <laughs> but you gotta start somewhere, right? Okay. I'm kind of thinking about this, playing it around. Uh, control T for transform. Right click to pull up the warp. really thinking here so sorry if I'm a little quiet I'll start talking soon once this guy's looking good okay uh, should he be okay we're gonna get him more there we go Should it be the moment he grabs it out of the out of the rock, huh? I think we should do it. Let's do it. We'll get some effects in there. There we go. Is that... Well, that wouldn't make sense. That's like he's attacking someone, right? He's got to have hands over the head, pulling it out like that. That could be fun. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Okay. We need more canvas. Oop. Nope. Not up. Nope. Too fast. Too fast. All right. Cancel that. Cool. Crop tool up. Uh, let's not get too high. Let's make it a little bit more. Oop. Actually, I like. We'll get a little boxy with it. Yeah, no? Nah. Okay, continue. Bad idea. Okay, so there we go. Let's put the sword on the new layer. Select that. Cut it. Paste it. Alright, sword's up. Go back to him. Hands over the head. Grab this thing. Yes. Victory is his. Okay, got the shoulders out there. Sweet. Nice. Okay, a little tunic. Cool. This jaw. Okay. Okay, sword. Uh, 
remember if I have this tool by hitting V, if I control click here, that's the sword. If I control click here, it selects the guy. I'm doing that by, because this is set to layer and this is off. Then you can control click here. Oh, it only selects layers, right? So that has to be a layer. So if I control click here, background, him, sword. Okay, it's kind of fun. All right, let's see. 10 minutes, cool. All right, so let's have fun with, okay, so we need more light back here. We're gonna go, yep. Neutral with the cave lighting, blue with the up lighting, and then maybe we'll hit them with some warm behind them. Actually, this is all in one layer, isn't it? That's fine. Okay. Cool. He's bringing that up. Okay, we gotta get the water. It's working. Okay. We got a cell that he is walking on water, so we are gonna delete some of that. And there we go. Okay. Yeah. Cool, and we probably get either darker or we'd go, let's get a little bit more warmth in there. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe these are real reddish rocks. Okay, we gotta block him more in. Block him more in, yeah, that's good English. All right, Clinty Sword. Oh, I have a shortcut that uh, preserves transparency. I set that to F8, comes in handy. F7 is to turn off preserve transparency. That's an accident on purple, but I kind of like it. We're gonna keep going. Put that into the hilt a little bit. Why not? All right, I'm gonna turn that off, F7C. That goes away, right? It's just doing this, but F8 does it, F7 turns it off. Comes in pretty handy. All right, so I'm gonna erase this guy. So it looks like a sword and Point, bam, bam, okay, cool. That's fine for now. Cool. And, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Okay. Let's do fuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy. So he's going to be, he's an armor. We're going to reflect some of what's around him. And try to pop out just certain things. Let's get a space in there. Sometimes what I'll do is do something like that. 
And window, range, new window. Something like that over here. So we can see a, oops, a zoomed out version over there and zoomed in here. Super fun. Are we on him? Yeah, we're on him. Cool. All right, let's do flesh tone. Uh, that's good. He's in a cool environment, so we might cool it down, go more desaturated, right? And it is green, but I kind of like it. Let's see. Get that up lighting. All right, he needs a nose. <laughs> okay. This is going to look terrible for a little bit. Hopefully. Should we do cartoony guy? Let's see. strength. Oh my gosh, I'm so strong, you say. What is that? Okay. brush. Let's see. There we go. Got a little rotation on there. Um, I did get the pen that does have rotation on it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I like it. Oh, we'll slow down. There we go. Okay. cheeks and eyes okay okay this tunic is way too baggy and big for him get some armor So 18 minutes, here's where it gets crazy. Um, okay, we're gonna do some layers behind them, but I'm starting, gonna start getting messy with layers and things just cause um, you hit that time where you just can't stay organized. So I'm just looking at what needs fixing as soon as possible. And right now I'm looking at where he's grounded. light from here thinking I'm just looking at the balance of the piece and a little warmth into that light along the edges so it feels illuminated and not like a just a, a gray kind of thing going on there the water is looking good might add a little bit more fun stuff going on you know what we're gonna increase hardness we're gonna do a similar thing over on the right. Maybe. Cool. Get some of that. Okay. I'm gonna fix that in just a second. He, you know what? I want him to have like a white shirt. I'm gonna do a new layer. And we're gonna just, we're gonna try something out here. Uh, 
don't even know if that was working. Ah, it's kind of working. His face is a little green. Sure, that's good. He doesn't have a mouth yet. <laughs> uh, we'll get to it. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Okay, cool. Sword. Looks terrible. Gotta make that look better. That's the whole point of the story here. Okay. There we go. We did something like that. Coming in, maybe coming out like that. Love the purple. Okay. Cool. I have that as a, as a selection that I hid. I made a mask for a group. Now if I put a layer in, or a, a layer into that group, it's clipped to that selection, right? Then I can do whatever I want in here. And let's do like color dodge. Oh man, that's good. Okay. Sorry, I got really excited there. Too much? Ooh. And then I'm gonna maybe do a selection down the middle of the sword. Cool. Nope. Invert that selection, hide it. There we go. Okay, cool. We need, we need, uh, you know, like, we need to know that this is coming out of the sword or coming out of the rock. So we need some particles and things. Let's see, some magic. Um, not that one. Let's see, oh, there we go. Let's do some glitter first. Oh man, magical sword. Put a little blur on that stuff. Oh yeah, so magical. Okay, wait, it's gonna get even better. And if we have a new layer, I'm gonna do a color dodge. Oh yeah, there we go. Sweet. Oh man, it's just all sorts of magical. Let's get that, uh, that little stardust, star, that one. Bang. <laughs> Let's do a new layer. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, filter, sharpen, sharpen. That's good, pop those guys. How about this guy, one, two? Cool. All right, how we doing? 22 minutes. He is not grounded as much as I'd like him to. We'll get his mouth in there too. Uh, let's see, I wanna do, okay. Gotta make him grounded. Ripples are a good way. Ripples, you have darks, shadows of the ripples, and lights. Looking fun, I'm liking that. This blue is really pretty. And I'm gonna try to get some of that onto him. And let's see, this is the point where I select everything and copy everything, paste everything. Cause the brushes, when you set them to color dodge and things, if you're painting on to paint like that, it's different and it affects the colors and stuff different than if you were to um, have a layer set to color dodge. I, there's probably some tricky math behind that. Um, and uh, so sometimes I get to this stage where I just dupe it all and paint. Oh man, that was good. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Got to create a little bit more of a cool. Are we dark enough back there? I think so. I'm liking the color, so I don't mind it getting a little 
hot. Okay, cool. 25 minutes. We're doing pretty good. Okay. I just indicate that he's got some hands on here. I have no time to go into it much more than that. I'm afraid. Oh, let's get that purpley. Purpley, purpley. There we go. Is he purple? I don't know. He should probably be in the browns, right? There we go. And then more in the neutrals for the armor. Cool. Yeah, let's... You know what? I like him kind of dark like that. 26 minutes. Um, what does it need? Needs a lot of things, but we just don't have time. So let's see, new layer. Let's give a mouth or a beard or something. Okay, we're still on Leonard Josh. That's not good. Beards are fun. Let's do a beard. Should his mouth be open? Teeth. Red beard's kind of fun. I didn't expect to do that, but maybe, I don't know, three minutes. He looks like a Muppet. <laughs> he looks like a Muppet. Oop, eh, that's better. Okay. on here just to help that he's a he's a knight I'm gonna stick with the Templar theme we were doing yesterday and the side of his shirt would actually be lower be back there Twenty-eight minutes. Oh man, his face is just—I'm not happy with it. Um, you know, I think we just might have to go with it. Um, Okay, 29, last couple touches. Uh, we need some, oh, I know. Gear, cool. Uh, new layer, set to overlay, get in the neutrals. Just indicate some texture back there. Actually, holy crap, oh man, we're out of time. Um, this was noisy. 29 minutes, last little touches. Uh, make a new layer, set to hard light. I always love doing it. You get a real saturated color. 
and then you can just pop some of these these hits. Okay, 30. All right. Just let me finish a few of these guys and we'll call it. Actually, let me. Too much? No, I think it's okay. I think that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this one. Uh, yeah, it'd be fun to continue it and really dial in his his face and stuff. But for 30 minutes, we gotta call it. I notice maybe we will crop it just a touch. There, somewhere in there. That looks good. And uh, but uh, you know. It's a, it's a start to a fun one, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, you guys stay classy. <laughs> no, just kidding. Have a good one. See you next time.